Hey everybody, it's Chris Query here from business.chrisquery.com and I'm grateful that you took time out of your day to watch this video where I'm here to talk to you about how we think about our business and our money. I'm here to talk to you about how we're thinking about the economy and what's going on and how we think about our thinking. Because if we can think differently, we can make better decisions, we make better decisions, we can come out prosperous in the end. So I'm grateful that you took time out of your day to watch this video. And today is part two of a three-part video series that I'm doing on how to get your business funded on Shark Tank. And whether you are planning to go on Shark Tank yourself, or whether you're just trying to pitch your business to your friends or family member to get their buying or their support, you need to know how to pitch your business properly so that people will be able to catch the vision and run alongside with you as you take your business to the next level. Now, as I mentioned in the first video, I found out there were three elements that are in every single successful pitch on Shark Tank, and I'm gonna go over those three elements in three videos. This is video number two of three. I covered in the video last week, one of the elements that needs to be in your pitch as you try to get investors for your business is that you need to be able to articulate your vision and your mission and the purpose for your vision in 90 seconds or less. You have to clearly articulate how your product solves a problem in 90 seconds or less with clarity so that anyone can easily listen to you and understand it and know exactly how you plan on solving that problem. But today is part two and I'm gonna talk about the second element which is you need to successfully convince others that you're able to take the business to the next level. And when I say this, I mean you need to be able to articulate why your work experience, why your education or your personal experience has all come together to become assets in your business to take your business to the next level. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show a clip from a Shark Tank episode of how these two entrepreneurs were able to convince the sharks that they were the right people to take the business to the next level. And they were able to do this by answering the questions that were asked to them with confidence. And by the way that they answered the question, you could tell that they understood about the problem, the solution, and their history was exactly what they have been through in order to take the business to the next level. So let's get into the clip right now. Wow. Tell us exactly how it, how it works. What's the technology sure. in there? Wow. Dave and I are technologists. We've commercialized technology our whole careers. And what we found is the head of the beer is the most critical element of the beer drinking experience. And what we discovered is if we're able to get the density, tightly, densely packed uniform bubbles, we can trick the brain to say, this is smooth, this is creamy. So we utilize sound waves. David and I have developed an oscillating sound pressure wave generator. Sound waves. Do you have a patent? We've applied for two utility patents and one international utility patent. You're correct. All right, so that's the clip and they were able to get a deal from that visit in Shark Tank. Now let's go over some things that they mentioned. So first of all, when it comes to their career, what they did mention was they, they worked in technology, and not only that, but they worked in commercializing technology. In addition to that, they also knew the composition of beer and that the foam in the beer or the head of the beer is one of the critical elements of determining how smooth the beer is when people drink it. And I, as I mentioned in the first video, I don't drink beer, so I can't really relate to the things that they were saying, but I do understand what they were explaining. And anyone who drinks a beer, I'm guessing, would want a smoother, fuller tasting beer, which is why this would be appealing to anyone who would want to buy the product. But that only shows that they did research into understanding that that's a requirement for a smooth beer, that the head of the beer or the foam at the top of the glass is extremely important. So based on their experience that they've had maybe drinking beer or studying this themselves, they were able to convince the sharks that they knew exactly what they were talking about in order to get a smooth tasting beer. Next, they showed the right level of knowledge concerning how to get that dense level of foam in the glass. As they mentioned, they used sound waves. So the sharks had a taste test and they could taste the difference between a regular beer from a can and a beer that was poured using this product that they made and so they can taste the difference and now as they explained they use sound waves it adds proof that they understood how to apply this the technology of sound waves in pouring a beer in order to have it to taste better and the sharks drank it they tasted it they loved it and they could taste the difference 
So they understood how sound waves used in pouring a beer can make the beer taste more fuller, more smoother, or taste better. And they even mentioned that it can trick the brain. So this involves a little more um, understanding of how the brain works and how the brain is wired. So they did their research and they were able to clearly convince the sharks that they had the background, they've done the research, and they had the experience because of their work to take that product to the next level. So this is part two, or the second element that every successful pitch on Shark Tank needs to have. You need to be able to convince the sharks or the investors that you are the right person to take that product to the next level based on your work history, your research, your experience, whatever it is that you have been through in your life. You put these things together and now they become assets and you communicate that to the person that is trying to, in, that you want to invest into your business and you have to convince them that because of all these things that you've been through, because of all these things that you've done in your life, you are the right person to take this product to the next level. So that's it for this video. I want to encourage you to watch the previous video that I did last week. Again, that's the first element is for you to be able to communicate your vision or articulate your idea, the problem and your idea and the solution in 90 seconds or less. And this is step number two. You have to be able to communicate that you are able to take the business to the next level because of your work history, your experience, whatever it is that you have, you group these things together and they become assets as you take the business to the next level. Those are the first two elements that are is in every successful Shark Tank pitch. And next week, I'm going to release the video with part number three, the third element that's in every single successful Shark Tank pitch. You're gonna to wanna to watch it because you put these three elements together and if you are able to do them successfully to anybody who is trying to invest into your business, you will get a successful deal from them. So anyways, this is Chris from business.chriscurry.com. I hope that you were blessed by this video and that you learned something new by it. And if you did learn something new, put it in the comments. Or if you have any other questions, put it in the comments of this video. I have other videos on the channel that will be able to help you as you try to take your business to the next level and understand things about what's going on in the economy and just videos about mindset because we want to take our minds to the next level so that we can do bigger things. The videos are up on the screen for you to click on. Remember to subscribe so that you can get every video that I release and may you continue to be blessed and make something great happen today. Peace.